So on the topic of motivating another team, I think that did occur this past weekend. It's just that the team that he motivated sucks. So Bryce Harper (laughs) played his ass off this weekend, okay? He had the big double late on Friday, homered on Saturday, and he's I I saw it all. He's he's pumped to to his dugout, which everybody does. Then after the homer, he's kind of showing the crowd what's up. And on Sunday, Jake Bird's like, well, we're winning, and we beat your ass 4 nothing in this game. So I get out of the jam in the seventh, and I'm going to try and show you guys up. Didn't so, you punch him out, too, right before? Yeah, let's, let's show everyone what we've got from that game. Oh, now we got some trouble going. Well, uh, Bryce Harper's going to have to be held back. Jake Bird started saying something. Harper's not happy about it. He's pushing Diaz. Watch the elbow. JT's coming over as well. They're telling, yeah, Jake Bird must have said something as he was going off the field. I mean, for somebody that threw more pitches out of the strike zone than in the strike zone, he's fortunate that he was able to get out of it without any problems. And now Diaz is pushing Harper again. Harper pushes back again. Howie Kendrick has Kyle Schwarber wrapped up. Again, frustrating afternoon for the Phillies. Hitless with runners in scoring position. And got a non-call on an opportunity to, to review a play at second that the second base umpire missed. And now it looks like cooler heads have prevailed, but Harper is still red he hot. Is hot. So is Schwarber. The bullpens will head back. Somebody who looks like he's ready to go to a barbecue came out of the dugout with the, with the Rockies as well. Look at Bird. It's screaming, it's talking a lot of smack for somebody who didn't throw the ball ball that well. <laughs> so much incredible. First of all, the commentary oh on that whole thing was a comes looks like he's came from a barbecue out of the Rockies dugout, <laughs> right? And then what does that even mean? I don't know. But and then he says <laughs> the, the announcer says we well, threw more balls and strikes. So what? He threw a scoreless inning. Who gives a crap? I got it. Well, it's homerism. But then th- th- true. But the thing that gets me about this is Bryce Harper comes charging out of the dugout. The catcher's standing there. And he just stops. Like, go get him. <laughs> like, go if you want him. Like, oh, somebody hold me back. Somebody hold me. Oh, you're holding me back. I'm holding up. Like, go ahead, Bryce. Go go get him. He's right there. There was nobody stopping you. The catcher was not going to stop him. If he would have grabbed the chest, he would just gone, whoop. Feline right to Bird. You know what he did? Somebody hold me back. Somebody. That's what happens a lot of times. Listen, Bryce, I get it. You're fired up. Your team is where your team is. You, you know, you're standing up for your guys. But, dude, if you want to go get him, go get him. It's Always Jake Bird. Available. Yeah, it's a second-year reliever on the Rockies. They're like, this might be the most action we get all year. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. I, I just thought the whole thing was entertaining for the most part. Phillies are playing good ball, too, for the most part. I mean, they had won five in a row. They fell in that game. So, I think for the Rockies, it's like, where's your excitement? This is right your there. excitement, right? I, what was he doing? I actually, I think it was it was fun, funny, whatever. I mean, the quote also post game from Harper was was perfect, and this is why I do love Bryce because he will give you something. Oh yeah. In interviews, so he goes, once we got out there, he kind of flew into the dugout and went away, and nobody really saw him after he did what he did. Bryce was saying he disappeared. Uh, he did disappear. I mean, you watch it, and he like he gives him Bird gives him one of these, like, well, come on and get it, and then but he's like. <laughs> constantly moving and he moves all the way into the dugout and then he was gone so you know this just meant actually I'm leaving so you can come if you want but you're not going to touch me anyway like to me all the all these situations that's what everybody wants to do they just want to they want to like hold me back hold me back I can't handle it Yasiel Puig was like he was the greatest at that like he would get so fired up and do nothing until Somebody was in between them. Then he was like, oh, my gosh, I'm the maddest person of all time. Like, no, just like if you're actually going to do something, Amir Garrett is a G because of what he did. He wasn't 
Like, the dudes were chirping. I forget what it was. It was some reliever from the Pirates was chirping, and Garrett was like, <laughs> all right, he gone, and he just went after him. Yeah. <laughs> one versus 12, you and I actually Garrett? think it was a fair fight, too. Oh, I've only seen one thing even close to that. It was in AAA. It was this guy, Frankie Rodriguez, before your guys' time. He was, he was not a guy you would mess with. And we're playing in Salt Lake, and we're playing Eddie Perez, the guy on ESPN, and the Memphis Redbirds, and he hits a guy, and they're chirping. And he looks in their dugout, and he goes, I'm going to hit every one of y'all. You don't shut up. And they're like, ah, next guy. Fook. He looks at him and goes, who's next? <laughs> and they looked at him, he goes, come on, I'll fight all y'all. From the mound, <laughs> I'll fight you all. Let's go. Nope. They all just were like, mm, nope. They didn't go after him. <laughs> no, hell no, they didn't do nothing. That's they awesome. Sat there. And I've had this story. I've talked this story about Eddie and Eddie, and he's like, "We were once we figured out we weren't messing with that dude. <laughs> we know too much about this. Yeah, guy. <laughs> we didn't mess with him.